identify which one it is. You say that the hump on number two was, was low. Now I know exactly which one to go for. Maybe I don't have to rip the platinum off and start checking the back bag. Maybe the problem's up in front. Mission timing is it was uh, indication that that's okay. Now here's one I took from a 2005 Pacifica. Draw. So earlier I got five amps, about 50 psi. I've got a rough baseline that I can compare to specs. I don't have to guess though because I can actually measure the pressure. That's what we did. Right. Come on there. Now with my transducer, I don't have to use that anymore. If I'm going to hook my mechanical gauge up, I might as well hook this up. Now before I get to pressure with the WPS, let's take a look at something that I don't have that yet, but a scope is only limited by your own imagination. I had an F-150 that was giving intermittent misfires, running kind of ragged had been around the block several times and nobody was having any real luck nailing down the problem. So they asked me to take a look at it. Now I'm not going to lie to you, it took me a little longer than 10 minutes to fix this car. But I thought, well, let me, maybe I need to do an injector drop. I suspect an issue maybe with something in the injectors. Well, if I wanted to do that the old fashioned way, what would I have to do? I have to pull up my little tool, get to the injector plug, plug my tool in, hook it up to the battery, hook up my fuel pressure gauge, prime that, then hit the button and start recording numbers and repeating that. And then you start comparing the numbers to see what the drop was and, geez, that's a lot of work. Ford was kind enough to stick a fuel rail pressure sensor on some of their vehicles. And that's what you're seeing here. I'm just going to the same sensor wire that tells the ECM what's going on. Now, I don't know what the pressure is. But I know I'm gonna look at this and see is this normal? Is this telling me something or is this okay? Green is pump current, blue is power to the relay, and the red trace is the signal going back to the computer from the MAF sensor. Is the pump running? Yeah. How about the power to the relay? That's going, right? Just a real quick side note, when I do things like this, I like the back probe. Once in a while, I gotta go ahead and pierce, but if you do choose that method, make sure that you repair where you pierce, it was better. But would you call this fixed? No, because we had wide open flow earlier, right? It went off the scale. So now it's time to pull the manifold. That's all that's left. This is what the federal, I mean the California emissions look like. That's that channel I told you about. And these are the ports that lead to the individual you know, exhaust tracks. So that's what I was looking to see when I pulled the exhaust manifold off. I figured those have got to be clogged up. I'll clean them out and we'll be done. Instead, I found this. There are no holes. This is a federal head. You ever run into stuff like that in the real world? I got all kinds of examples.